this is Brian Reindel and I'm here with GEMS, Great Educator Mindsets, and continuing my series on talking with you about successful classrooms and successful people, comparing the two. And today's episode is about um, how Richard Allington and Patricia Cunningham looked at that successful classrooms are well managed and at their high levels of engagement. So what does that mean? You already know as an educator that when disruptive behavior occurs, there's less learning going on when you're dealing with behavior. And um, we know um, what uh, helps bring down behavior is making sure that children are highly engaged. For example, in the highly successful classrooms that they looked at, kids were not doing worksheets. They were doing real reading, real writing, collaborative work that um, engaged the students in topics that were of interest to them. And that is what kept the students going and highly motivated. So if we can engage students like that in work, every day they sit down they do their reading they do their writing why as adults do we struggle with doing our work the work that we want to do so um, Stephen Pressfield in his book The War of Art called the thing that gets in our way resistance listen to this line from from his book he said there's a secret that real writers know that wannabe writers don't. And the secret is this. It's not the writing part that's hard. What's hard is sitting down to write. What keeps us from sitting down is resistance. Are you a writer that's not writing? Are you a painter that doesn't paint or a runner that doesn't run? Are you resisting clean and healthy eating? Are you resisting exercise and movement every day? Are you uh, resisting launching a business that you've always wanted to launch or overcoming an addiction? Resistance is that invisible enemy that we have inside ourselves. It will do anything to keep us from doing our work. And you know how we feed it? We feed it with fear. And what do we fear? Fear failure. We fear being rejected by our, our family or being made fun of or humiliated in some way. We might fear poverty when we take that, that venture that we want to take in our own business. Fear of failing, um, uh, fear of following our hearts and fear of success or fear of throwing away um, an education and all that we've worked for so far. How does resistance manifest itself then? Um, if we're feeding it with fear, you know what, how it manifests itself? It manifests itself through procrastination. And I can speak about that. I am world's number one procrastinator. And now that I understand more that um, resistance is, um, is manifests itself as procrastination, I can understand and deal with it. For example, it took me two days to finally sit down and write the script for this episode. I procrastinated on it, right? Because I had some resistance. And everything else in our lives becomes urgent. For example, the groceries, the kids, the bills, shoveling the driveway, whatever the chores are that are urgent take precedent over what is important. There's a difference between urgent and important. So I'd like us to think about um, doing what is important first before doing what is urgent because that is, um, that is how we're going to overcome that resistance. Doing the workout before we go home after work. Getting up 30 minutes early in the morning to do some reading, to do some meditating, or to do some stretching. Um, doing that important work first before we do all of those urgent things. Sitting down and doing the work. You know, um, resistance can lead to that feeling of being overwhelmed, can't it? There's this pervasive heaviness over our lives all the time when we're living with that resistance. We want to go back to bed. We want to medicate ourselves by binge watching Netflix, right? Um, and again, that resistance um, is experienced as fear. And the more we fear our true calling of what's inside, the more that resistance will, will present itself. And that's how we know we're on the right track, right? So 
um, I've really had some resistance lately again to eating healthy, eating clean on a consistent daily basis. And I've been struggling with that. And it's simply resistance to doing the work of what it takes. Pre-logging the meals, sticking to what I pre-log because I know that the, that amount of calories and those macros are what's going to serve me best. But there's that fear and that resistance that creeps up all the time. But the thing is, we can change at this very moment. It's in our hands. We have the power to sit down and do the work. Um, so if you cave into resistance today, do you know what? You're probably twice as likely to cave into resistance tomorrow. So don't cave even once because it leads down that path of caving in whenever we feel like it. And that's what's been going on with me. I did, I did so many months of, of really sticking with my plan and lately that I've just been caving in left and right and, and it's time to get back on track. So um, think about what resistance is happening in your lives. If we can get our classrooms to be successful where kids are sitting down to do their reading and writing every day, what is stopping us in our own lives? Is it the fear? Is your life well managed like these highly successful classrooms? Do you put your workouts on your calendar every week and make them the priority and not let anything else get in the way? That's, that's part of commitment too, right? Do you prep your food on Sunday so that you have it available as healthy eating throughout the week? That is what's important, right? Doing what's important first. What is life calling you to do? Is it important or are other things, other urgent things causing you to procrastinate on what is important in your life? Do you feel resistance? Good, that's a good sign. Now you can do it or don't do it. It's up to you. So take those thoughts with you. If you feel like that message is um, something that you'd like to comment on, please be sure to leave a comment. Share these videos and these experiences with others that you think can benefit from them. And be sure to check out my Facebook page for GEMS. Check out my Google Plus page and um, would love to have a conversation started. Until next time, this is Brian Reindel, a literacy coach here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, wishing you the best and brightest day of your life. Take care.